You're watching Discovering Happiness with your host, Manny V, where we bring reality to life. We dissect it, analyze it, and try to find happiness within. So with no further ado, let's get started. Today's topic is going to knock your freaking socks out. Literally, hear me out. It's about India's grudgmental dilemma. Yes, grudgmental. I just made that freaking word up. I'm sure each one of us had to face our own grudges, whether it's towards our siblings, family members, or loved ones. I'm going to talk about the root cause, whether it's egotistic, judgmental, or stupidity, and also some solutions behind it. Also, I'm going to talk about the health risks having grudges towards others. So, with no further ado, let's get started. What are grudges you might be asking yourself? Well, grudges is pretty much when you are harboring anger, bitterness, negative feelings towards another person for a very long time. And it could definitely take a toll on you mentally, physically, and emotionally. As far as grudges are concerned, it usually involves co-workers, siblings, uncle aunties, spouse, and in-laws. I want to give you some examples of what can harbor grudges behind the scenes. Some grudges can be involved where a certain person not being invited to a party or wedding event. That can definitely take a toll on a person. A person can take it personally. And other example could be when you're not included in a group text. That could definitely harbor some negative feelings, whether a group text could be on Facebook or on WhatsApp. Some rude comment being made or a negative first impression. Another will be possibly an unwelcome overstate from a loved one, relatives, or friends. So those are some examples we encounter when, when it comes to having grudges towards another. I want to give you guys an example of holding a grudge in our own Indian community. I actually overheard two aunties speaking about this and I'm going to try my best to uh, mimic that conversation in an Indian accent. So try not too hard to laugh. Here it goes. You know Sunita, this auntie at the kitty party said to me something about my appearance, my education and my status. I mean who the hell she thinks she is? The Queen of England? Literally. I actually heard that conversation. No joke. All right. I believe that everyone are entitled to their own opinion to a degree. At the same time, you shouldn't show your resentment, hold a grudge, or harbor your own health with the same token. Usually after such rude comments are made in our community, one will try to befriend that person or display negative vibes towards that person, which at the end harbors a negative self-growth for both parties. I actually believe if we Indians remove some of our egos and put away our differences aside, hence such negative situation won't haunt us to our graves. As far as aftermath of holding a grudge for a long time, some of the bulletproof points would be you develop a lower self-esteem. And obviously, none of us want to do that in the long run. You start blaming others, bad mounting. I'm sure you guys have heard aunties, uncles do that at parties, kitchen table, etc. You also start having resentment and anger built up. And you also are fixated on negative thoughts. So I'm sure each one of you have encountered those situations where people here have grudges and I'm sure that maybe tomorrow we can make the change for a better today. There are actually health issues of holding grudges. Some can actually lead to higher blood pressure, heart complications, it can affect your sleep and reproduction system and also it can increase your cortisol which lead to weight gain, diabetes and cancer. So I definitely believe our health is more important than holding a grudge but I'll definitely have you decide on that. I also want to talk about cleaning your karmic account with people that actually hurt at you. Some of the bullet points are when it comes to karmic account, as unresolved accounts, feeling of revenge, and pretty much misunderstandings. So I would definitely say or encourage you not to wait for your next life to resolve some of these karmic accounts. Instead, try to settle your karmic account in this life. So what do I mean? Let me give you an example. Some of the resentment or betrayal that we are actually experiencing today or previously without any valid reasons are usually from our from people that actually uh, meant dear to us. 
And these negative dramatic situations are usually from previous karmic debt from our previous life with individuals that were exactly not resolved properly. So whether it was a business deal that went sour or a family betrayal based on ego, which we're actually now paying the price uh, for. I want to give you some solution behind removing grudges and not being too judgmental. I would say you definitely want to practice acceptance and let it go. It will actually increase your happiness and liberation. Practice forgiveness. It actually improves your sleep quality and levels of anxiety. Also start giving blessing. You will actually bring a positive atmosphere in your world and also it's a heart cleansing method. So would you take the lead and take a stand? Let's start with resonating love and act of forgiveness in our world. Let's reach out to people that actually hurted us and finally make that truce. Also, let's start meditating and self-care. I definitely think if we lead the way and take a stand, we can make the changes in India and also abroad for a better tomorrow. So let's not harbor any negativity towards other or ourselves, and let's make the change. Just like what Gandhi said, an eye for an eye can make the whole world blind. So will you take the stand and lead the way? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to learn more about us, we're on the web at inspireyourmind.org. Also, feel free to follow us on Facebook groups at Discovering Happiness Podcast Series with Manny B. If you'd like us to tackle a topic about your community, Feel free to write the comments below and we'll definitely be engaged. Till then, have a beautiful day. Om Shanti.